Common advice to those seeking meaningful work is do what you love. This is the unfinished story of Donald Davidson, who followed his interests on a path that took him from his native England to the focal point of motor racing, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Growing up in Salisbury, Donald's parents gave him toy racing cars in his Christmas stocking that fueled his imagination. At the time, the 500 counted towards the World Championship. Donald became fascinated by this oval track exception in a series of road races, and he studied a 1956 Floyd Clymer 500 yearbook that he persuaded his mother to purchase. Donald found he could memorize the thousands of car and driver combinations, qualifying speeds, start and finish positions with astonishing detail and accuracy. At age 13, he began saving for a trip to America to see the 500. In 1964, Donald wrote letters to Francis Durr of the Speedway Ticket Office and to Sid Collins, chief announcer of the radio network, to make arrangements for his visit. Donald arrived that May, where his talents and knowledge amazed race officials, prompting an invitation from Sid for Donald to join him in the radio booth for the broadcast. Reaction to Donald's appearance was tremendous. For Donald, it was a trip of a lifetime, meeting legends who were just once names and photos in a yearbook. Returning the next year on a one-way ticket, Donald was back in the booth and hired by the United States Auto Club as their full-time statistician. Donald first appeared on WIBC Radio during May as the call-in expert about the history of the 500, evolving into the talk of Gasoline Alley, which continues 43 years later. The first day, the top-rated Sunday morning news program on WIBC in the 70s and 80s regularly featured Donald's appearances. An avid fan of film, boxing, and recorded music, Donald featured his interests on his own show on public radio. Donald is in constant demand year-round as an event speaker. He is the answer man for all media inquiries about the statistics and history of the Speedway, with hundreds of radio and television appearances all over the world. With a reporter's zeal, Donald sought out the drivers, mechanics, car owners, and the wives to obtain their recollections of their experiences, so that the real history of the 500 would not die with them. In 1998, Donald became the historian of the Speedway Hall of Fame Museum. Honored by his peers and by those whose exploits he studies and interviews, Donald was inducted into the Automobile Racing Hall of Fame in 2010. Donald Davidson, the 500 storyteller of fact, the beloved chronicler of the hundreds of participants and their stories at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a living legend Hoosier ambassador in print, in the classroom, at the podium, and on television and radio for over 50 years. And to be called in throughout the day, Donald Davidson, native of London, now working with USAC. He'll appear with comparative analysis of this race with previous years, and all from memory, incidentally. Thank you, Sid. Well, rather interesting that in 1954...